Hello, everybody. Now, mm, let me think. Over the last weeks and months, I imagine you have really, really missed seeing your best friends. And, you know, I hope you'll be able to see them again regularly, very, very soon. One of the, the great things about playgroup and school and church is meeting up with friends and everybody being together and having fun together in a group. But tell me this, do you look out for your friends? Do you help them when they need a hand? I bet you do. But think about this as well. What about kids who aren't in your group of friends? Should you be looking out for them as well? That's a great question. And today I'm going to share a story with you that Jesus told about that very question. One day, a Bible expert came up to Jesus and asked him about this sort of thing. Listen carefully to the story that Jesus told him. It is called the story of the Good Samaritan and it goes like this. An expert in the law of Moses stood up and asked Jesus a question to see what he would say. What must I do to have eternal life? asked this expert. What is written in the scriptures? replied Jesus. The expert said, the scriptures say, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul, all your strength and all your mind. They also say, love your neighbours as much as you love yourself. You have given the right answer, said Jesus. If you do this, you will have eternal life. But the man wanted to show that he knew what he was talking about. So he asked, who are my neighbours? Jesus answered by telling this story. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. Robbers attacked him and grabbed everything he had. They beat him up and ran off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road. But when he saw the man, he walked past on the other side. Later, a temple helper came to the same place. But when he saw the man who had been beaten up, he also went past on the other side. A man from Samaria then came travelling along that same road. When he saw the man, he felt sorry for him and he went over to him. He treated his wounds with olive oil and wine and he bandaged them all up. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next morning he gave the innkeeper two silver coins and said, Please take care of this man. If you spend more than this on him, I will pay you when I return. Now, asked Jesus, which of these three people was a real neighbour, a real friend to the man who was beaten up by robbers. The one who showed pity on him, replied the expert, Well, go and do the same thing, said Jesus. That is one of the best stories Jesus ever told. It makes us think, and it really helps us to live the way God wants us to. You see, back then, Jewish people and Samaritans didn't get on. Even though they lived beside each other, they weren't good neighbours. Now, the man who was beaten up and robbed and left at the side of the road was Jewish, so you would expect the Samaritan just to leave him there and walk on by. But he didn't. Instead, he helped. In this story, Jesus is telling us that anyone in need is our neighbour and could become our friend. It doesn't matter what their skin colour is. It doesn't matter what church they go to. It doesn't matter where they come from. 
Jesus wants us to be kind and helpful to everyone. Jesus wants us to be friends with everyone. Jesus wants us to live just like that Samaritan in our story today. Now, our song together today is This Little Light of Mine. So get up and get ready to sing and to do the actions. I'll say bye for now and see you next week. So, bye for now. Thank you.